Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one and only Silo Man coming from a launch control center of an underground Atlas F ICBM site outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Please sit back for the next 15 or 20 minutes and let's just enjoy ourselves and look at some of these great pictures. This is the original launch control center. This is the way in which it was originally purchased. You can notice all the graffiti in the upper level. There's the, uh, the escape shaft with the door open. Quite a bit of the original upper level floor was removed by the salvagers. There's the center column that supports the, the entire roof of the control center, which is, by the way, 40 feet in diameter, 27 feet from the top of the concrete ceiling to the bottom of the concrete floor. What you're looking at in that prior picture was the, the vent, the four inch vent, uh, the sewer vent. You can see down through the flooring from the upper level to the lower level. As we're coming around on the upper level, you can see lots of kids have played in this site. Some of the communication lines coming in from the comm manhole. There's some of the debris we had to haul out of this site on the lower level. It's quite a bit. And you only have two ways to bring it out. You can either bring it out through the way you walked in, through the entryway, or you can haul it out the escape shaft, which is a 24 inch opening. So either way, it gets, it's, it gets tiring. There's part of the upper level floor as we're going around. You can see the lip of the steel coming around. They, they have cut off the original hand railing that went around. You can see where the uprights are there. And there was the opening to the stairwell itself and then the short stairs going on up. That's looking up at the union for the sewer vent as it comes on around. And that's going all the way down the stairwell and the very bottom of the stairwell is a sewer sump. That gray object that you see there was a blast valve, a four inch blast valve. You don't see many of those around. Of the original 72 Atlas F sites in America. Lower level floor. You can see some of the conduit. Looking up from the lower level floor, you can see the, the center column with the mushroom. Again, some of the opening. This is the way it was in which, when, when I first started with it, and that's been well over 20 years ago. Again, looking up from the lower level up to the upper level. Here we're looking down through to the bottom of the concrete floor. You can see there's a little bit of water down there. As we're walking through the stairwell, steel floor of the lower level. Coming on around, you can see some of the, the old cast iron sewer lines coming down. Some of the opened areas that go through the lower level floor to the concrete below, which was about four feet. Again, panning around the lower level floor. And you can see it there. Wow, lots and lots of graffiti. I took almost, it took almost 200 gallons of oil-based kills that we shot on those walls to completely seal it. Looking up again from the lower level floor to the upper level, the portions of the beams that have been removed on top of that, the steel plate. Closer shots, some of the bracket holders that held the beam. You can see where they've simply taken in that shot where they've taken a cutting torch and cut those. And we're going to be showing you when we put also in the upcoming videos that you're going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing some of them of where we put this plate steel back in, along with the beams.
there you can see coming up is that's going to be part of the old cast iron drain lines. Some of the work we've done on the upper level of bringing in the electrical. That's coming in from the tower. We have a tower up on the surface. So those would be for the comm lines coming through the old communication manhole on the surface. You can see the electrical panel, 200 amp. And we put back in some handrail that I've come across and we're running it back through, re-welded re it on. See where we painted the walls now? Coming in, doing more of the electrical. You may notice that small panel to the right. That's for the emergency backup generator we have up on the surface. It's a 15,000 or a 15 kW, 15,000 watts. We wired it in. It's a great little piece of equipment. It automatically senses when the power goes out and it switches over power. The uh, backup generator starts up. You get a far away picture. We've already painted a lot of it. You can see where that floor is still missing. There's the escape shaft coming down from the surface. There's, there's the original air intake vent, but the blast valve has been removed. I've got a complete set in storage. And here on the lower level, I'm just simply doing some painting on some shelves that are going to go in off the utility tunnel to the silo. You can see some of the areas that I use for storing equipment that we've been working on the rest of the site. And as we go through these videos, you're going to be seeing this more and more as I fill this room up with different pieces that I'll be using throughout the project. This has now been going on for well over 20 years, so it gives you an idea of, of this process. Again, some of the more lower level floor. And you can see back through the doorway to the stairwell. We're just we're just completing some of the painting of the some of the electrical lines. It's been completely redone. Again, next to the column on the lower level, looking through to the stairwell and to the utility tunnel. You can see very faintly the fire and debris door. Some of the, the scaffolding that we've used through this process. The scaffolding really came in handy when we were, of course, putting re-putting the beams back in and then putting the plate steel and welding it back on those beams. These photographs were taken, oh, every bit of 15, 18 years ago, maybe 20 years ago. And it was just a process. Now we're going into the silo. Uh, I built a handrail because there was no handrail in there. And I found that most people that wanted to go into the silo and look at all of the original equipment were looking in the area where the elevator was and the elevator shaft. You can see some of the springs that this entire structure was hung on. We could suspend a minimum of one million pounds off of those spring struts and rods. Um, see some of the crazy kids that have been there right, <laughs> painting the mushrooms. Uh, looking, looking down the area that would have been originally for the, stair, for the uh, uh, elevator. Some of the handrail that we're building. Let's make it a little nicer for people to come in. Back then, 15, 18 years ago, we ran mostly halogen lights down there. Of course, they, you know, it just got old, constantly having to change out 500 watt halogen bulbs. So I look forward to the day we're going to go back through. Probably within the next couple months, we'll be going in shooting a lot more of the video and a lot more pictures. You can see some of the electrical I ran so I could operate some of the different switches for the for the silo lighting. 
Right now you'd be considered at level two in the silo and you're looking at roughly 140 feet from there down to level eight. And so it gives you a good idea of what's still remaining and there's lots and lots remaining. We've got about 75% of our silo and this is one of the only sites in the United States of the original 72. Uh, not counting the three test sites at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California that are naturally dry. So it'll give you a little idea. Here's looking back from the platform. Just about got welded up the, the handrail. We're coming on around. And some of the electrical with the switches that operate those, those particular outlets. And what we're doing is we're just simply running electrical lines into those and then we can energize them whenever we throw those switches. This project was a lot of fun. This was done years and years ago. My father was still alive. He would come out and watch and help when I needed it. This was a project he and I did. I want to say to take it this far took us about two and a half years. So it'll give you, a, you know, kind of a rough idea. And that was normally working about six days a week. We worked Monday through Saturdays. Well, again, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Uh, click that bell. And also, if you liked it, uh, click the like button and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know and uh, hope to see you soon